Hello drone lovers, welcome to my channel. My name is KM. Okay, we are now ready to uh, set up beta flight. Uh, the quad has been installed and I've already connected the uh, smoke stopper onto the battery with the quad. Okay, first let's connect to the beta flight and see what uh, the setting is. is working okay okay the setup let's go to ports okay our our SSR is connected to UART 5 so at the moment we switch off UART 1 for serial okay UART 5 we don't use VTS because this is a HD version and then we save and we boot connect okay all right so the motors we haven't set yet so at the moment it's the shot 600 Let's turn on bi-directional D-shot and let's keep it at 8K, 8K for now So my craft personalization, I will put Mark 4, HD 5 Angle at PV, I will put 25 Arming angle, I will change to 180 Receiver is the zero base S bus, but I will choose F port, free sky F port, and okay, GPS. I'll turn on, hold on, turn on GPS. Okay, and I will select U blocks. Okay, and then I don't uh, have soft serial, I switch it off. I'm using telemetry, no LED strip. Okay, air mode is on the um, switch, so I turn it off here. The rest I need. Okay. For the beeper, D-Shot be Beacon, I will just set both on to use my motos as a beacon or a beeper. Okay, then I will save and reboot. Aha, uh -huh, that's one thing we need to do before we actually go into beta flight. Okay, we should go into the CLI. Okay, and then we just say dump all I won't do now because we already changed things already this is you do this before you you start changing any something okay then you cut and paste all this into a text file which I already did prior to this okay you can cut and paste into your beta flight folder okay I have one here, stock MK4 HD5. Okay, I put the original stock dump all into this file. Okay, as of now, we just leave it first. Alright, so now we go back to battery. Battery. Okay, these are default settings, so we leave it as such. Heat tuning. 
this is the original pit I'm not going to change it for now only thing is I may look at the rates okay the rates for profile 1, 2 and 3 are the same 1.0 one point and point seven so I just going to touch rate profile one I just put to a slower rate which what I prefer more super rate 0 0.85 and then for the pitch same for the yo just a bit more steep 0.85 and then for the RC rates we just go for 0 0.5 pitch in 0 0.5 okay and then for your we go to 0 0.5 um, same as the roll and pitch except for the ends it will be slightly flatter than the roll and pitch okay then I'll save this I'll go to filter settings okay for this one we turn on gyro rpm filters 3 gyro rpm harmonic number and 100 as a minimum frequency for this part, I may choose low and to follow Joshua Butwell's setting 0, 200, and 90. Okay, so for the uh, filtering, I'll just push it maybe to 1.3, won't go too high for a start. Save. and for the receiver okay let's now turn on the power Karenis welcome to open TX okay let's, okay now we need to power on the quad Should be T A T A E R. Right, okay, save. Nothing. Yeah, I 
beach and that's been caught. Typing this, looking for iFlight, success D, F7, Twin G. Okay, see the iFlight documentation. Not this one. This is the mini stack. Let's look for Twin G diagrams. Here. Okay, let's look for the diagram, this one, and here. Let's see, when you connect with F port, we need to set zero inverted on, half duplex on, and zero provider F port. Okay, so we need zero inverted on. Set serial inverted equals on set serial which one, uh, duplex half duplex equals on and what about the provider provider set. get provider okay, what is the provider f port okay we already set so now let's save this one okay, what is this sorry shouldn't be saving that one <laughs> i should be typing save okay okay let's connect again the receiver on mm, nothing strange did I miss anything Serial, huh? I can't remember. Why is it not prompting? Serial inverted on. Serial RX inverted. Serial RX half duplex. Let's double check this again and then we do a proper restart. Serial RX inverted. It's not set. No custom default found. Why? Okay. Set serial RX half duplex equals on. Save. Inverted on half duplex on provider F port. So let's do power shutdown. Let's disconnect this one. Telemetry lost. Okay, let's connect up again. Sensor lost. Telemetry recovered. Hmm. I don't get it. Okay, the reason why 
the uh, receiver wasn't working uh, is because of this issue here. As you can see, one of the features of this RSSR is there is this S bus and CPPM mode. Okay, the S bus CPPM output blue LED stays lit, indicating the RSSR is in, in S bus mode. Otherwise, it is in CPPM mode. Yesterday, there wasn't any blue LED, so it was shown. You can it, it was shown that it will only the green LED stays lit, and that means that it is in CPPM mode. Okay, how to switch S bus and CPPM signal? Just long press the SFS or bind button in the receiver for more than four, for four seconds and the blue LED will flash three times indicating the switch is complete. So it could be that during the binding process I did a few times, I might have pressed the uh, bind button uh, while the unit was already on for more than five, four seconds and it had already switched to CPPM mode without me knowing. So when the binding was okay, it managed to bind, it was already in CPPM mode. So that was the reason. So I can now demonstrate to you the quad is now working. Okay, let's go back to beta flight. Let's run beta flight. Okay, so we were at receiver. So now with the unit powered on, okay, the quad here, let's connect the battery. Okay, to my smoke stopper. Okay, and let's switch on the Terranis. Welcome to OpenTX. Switch warning. Okay. okay, so now we are at mark 4. Okay, so now I'll switch off everything. Okay. Telemetry lost. See? The throttle is now working. Actually, in fact, for, Telemetry recovered. for this uh, quad. Telemetry it, lost. For this. Uh, flight controller there is no need to actually connect the battery to to uh, check your throttle I mean your sticks uh, it's able to power on the receiver even without the telemetry battery. recovered telemetry okay. lost so you can see now I push up and down left right and the sticks are all working and just to check whether it is correct uh, T A R T A E R one two three four is correct that means first one is throttle Okay, then I mean the, the sequence in the Terranis is Trotter first, then Alien, which is uh, Peach. Okay, then E Elevator, which is uh, Telemetry Rome. recovered. And then we have Telemetry the Rudder. The Rudder. Okay. So Rudder is your. Okay. So as you can see, there is also a RSSI signal at uh, channel Ox6. Telemetry recovered. Because Telemetry actually, lost. Telemetry recovered. It's too near. That's why it's always blue signal, you know. So uh, you can see from my Tyrannis. Okay. Where is it? Should be output. Output. Okay. Channel 5, Channel 6. Okay, so 6 is 10, right? Yes. So you can see the 10, I have the RSI here. Okay, the RSI is already multiplied by 200. Okay, because, yeah, because for this particular receiver, somehow rather it, it needs to be multiplied because there's not enough uh, uh, gain so same thing if you want to transmit into your goggles you have to set the rssi here in your cli uh, get rssi you can see the 
RSI scale yeah okay 200 so I have to set here as 200 as well so that it will be the same what I received from my Taranis and what I received from the goggles okay so we go back to receiver mode connect okay connect receiver mode okay so everything you can don't bother about this channel RSSI channel here because the RSSR actually transmit the the RSSI automatically so you set I set my stick low threshold to 105 middle sticks is 1500 and the high sticks to be 1009 I give a bit of date bank for both the roll and uh, the RC date band and this one your date band is also the same okay for the modes I've already set okay normally for my arm I will set this way for arm as long as it is on anything above uh, the, the first uh, a third of the way is considered on for angle mode okay the first third the second uh, third will be angle mode and the uh, next third will be horizon, horizon mode okay then for the GPS rescue is the second third okay you can't see it here yet because GPS is not working now for beeper okay beeper see it's using aux 5 and it's on the second the last third of the scale and air mode okay it's from the second to, and the third third of the scale the reason why is because we need air mode during GPS rescue so I need to set air mode together when GPS rescue is also on and lastly flip over after a crash is on the third third of the aux tree okay that's what I did for the modes okay for the motors now this is the time we have to test the motors to see if it spins in the right direction so before that let me take out the props okay so for the motors we need to turn on the the battery okay let me put the quad nearby okay right so so when you turn on the batteries all the error will disappear so I need to check this button here to see I understand the risk the propellers are removed okay so now we're going to turn one by one so for motor one okay before we do this we have to find out which is motor one because I already turned the switch around so I already remapped the resource Okay, this is what we did. Okay, so resource 1 is now C07, resource 2 is C09, resource 3 is C06, resource 4 is C08. Previously, okay, for now because the ESC is the other way around, Moto 1 is now Moto 4, Moto 2 is now Moto 3. Moto 3 is now Moto 2 and Moto 4 is now Moto 1. So everything is just reordered in the opposite direction. Okay, so in the CLI, all I do, did was just configure this resource in the notepad and then you copy it and then you just go to CLI and then you just paste everything here which I already did, which you can see, resource. Okay, under Moto. Okay, Moto 1 is C07, see? Moto 2 is now C09, Moto 3 is now C06, and Moto 4 is now C08. Originally, it was the other way around. That means Moto 1 was C08, Moto 2 was C06, Moto 3 was C09, and Moto 4 was C07. Okay, so now that the motor is already been reversed, we can test it out. Click on motors, 
enable the risk okay now for motor one this one okay let's just make sure yep it's going this way which is props out motor two Yep, it's going this way, props out. Moto 3, also this way, props out. And Moto 4, props out. Okay. Okay, so if you know how to reverse, right? If in case you see that the motos are not in the proper direction, you have to go to BL Heli 32 to reverse it. Okay which I already did. I will show it to you later. For OSD, because we're using DJI, uh, we not, have not set anything here yet, and I'm not sure how to set it at this point. So also for VTX transmitter, all I did was just set the race band channel one with the lowest power. So I don't know how to set this yet for, for DJI. And that's it for the initial setting. So, Let's go to BL Heli just to check on the motors. Let me power on, power off the battery first. Okay, my BL Heli is in here. Speed of light. BL Heli 32. BL Heli Suite 32. BL Heli Suite 32 EXC. Okay, so for BL Heli, we can just do a read setup. Uh, don't update yet. Okay, read setup. Oops, sorry. To read setup, you need to power on. Okay, we have to. Now it's already connected. All right. So power on. Read setup. Okay, so all four ESCs has been read. The version is 32.7. Okay, this is the stock version 32.7, which is good enough for RPM filters because you need 48 kilohertz. Finally, this was 24 kilohertz, so I have to change this one. Okay, to 48. Okay, first you go to the overview, you can see that normal, ESC1 is normal, ESC2 is reverse, ESC3 is reverse, and ESC4 is normal. So in order to reverse, we just need to left, right mouse click on the motor, and then you just click on the, uh, change this to the reverse direction, and then you just say right ESC. Okay, which I can show you. Right once, and you say ESC is right written, okay. So if you go to ESC overview, you can see now ESC1 is reverse. But I want to override it back. I click, position my mouse on the number of EXC, I click on the right mouse button. And then I put reverse back to normal again. Okay. And I write setup. Okay, now we go back to ESC1. You can see that it is now normal. Okay. So what we want is PPM frequency all set to 48 kilohertz and for motor direction for mine quad because of the way i wire the motors to the esc i have to reverse the esc2 and esc3 for it to do the uh, uh, reverse prop i mean the outward props okay so now i'm just going to close this vr heli 32 okay switch off Right. Okay, the next thing we need to do is uh, we need to check to see if the quad can be telemetry lost, telemetry recovered, telemetry lost, powered on, telemetry recovered, so telemetry lost. Let's connect the battery. Sensor lost. Telemetry just, recovered. Just telemetry this. lost. This is a problem when you're too near the receiver. The telemetry will get lost. 
Okay, so let's power on the quad. Telemetry recovered. Telemetry lost. Okay. Telemetry recovered. Yes, see? I can arm it now. Okay, but I'm still using a smoke stopper so I cannot throttle up too much. Okay, but you can see that my roll is working. Pitch. Okay, let me show you. Roll, pitch, throttle, and yaw. Okay? It's all working. Oh yeah, before you can get this to work, because I already enabled GPS. Lost. Okay, yeah, I forgot this. Connect. Oh, let's connect bit of light. Telemetry recovered. Okay, we don't need Telemetry the battery. Lost. Let's connect to beta flight. Okay, let's go through the, the settings again on the port. Okay. Oh yeah, by the way, I've already changed the connection to UART1. Because initially I thought it was the UART5 UART that was having a problem. So I changed it to UART1. So now I'm connecting to UART1. But you can connect to UART5. If you connect to UART5, you just make sure you enable UART5 instead of UART1. Okay, I connected the GPS to UART3. So UART3, make sure you're on the sensor input. Please select GPS. Okay, UART5, or okay, this is the stock setting for BTX tram. So anyway, I just leave it just in case this can be used later. Okay, so now that GPS is enabled, under the configuration tab, okay, these are the settings. 8K, okay, let's start from the beginning. We have to reverse motor direction. We set the D shot 600 with bi directional D shot. I didn't touch this part. I changed the arming angle to 180 degrees. For the system configuration, I changed to 8K, 8K. Uh, there is an accelerometer and there's also a barometer. And name of my quad is Mark 4 HD5. Camera angle is 25 degrees as normal. Uh, receiver is a serial based receiver, FR Sky F port. And for other features, I just turned on telemetry. Originally, soft zero was on, so now I switch it off. And I turned off air mode because I used air mode as a switch. And then also, I turned on this beacon, these two for the loss receiver and for the RX set. And additionally, for the GPS, I turn on GPS and set the U-blocks. Okay, if you don't set it in the, in the ports for GPS here and save it, then you won't be able to turn it on. So once GPS can, is turned on, okay, GPS is turned on, then you have this command you need to set in CLI, get um, GPS, this one. Okay, get GPS rescue, allow arming without fix. Because you're indoor, there is no satellites. So you want to test to see whether the arming works, you have to set this parameter to on. So it allows you to arm the quad without any GPS fix. By default, this is off in the original, uh, in the stocks uh, setup. Okay, so make sure you turn this on, then you can test your arming. Okay, for the, um, let's go to fail safe. All right, so for fail safe. For fail safe, I put my throttle to auto, but actually I should set to hold, okay? Why hold? Let me let me let me show you later. Okay. 
And then for the stage setting, guard time to go to stage 2 is 0.2 seconds, 200 milliseconds. Because if you have GPS, you want a GPS to kick in as fast as possible. If you don't have GPS, you may set it longer in case you your signal from the radio can catch your receiver again. And for stage 2, I just turn on GPS rescue. I use all this default setting here. I didn't change anything. Okay, so now since I turn on throttle to hold, let me save and reboot. Okay. So let me demonstrate why I set it to hold. So let's plug it out. Telemetry recovered. Okay, and then let's Telemetry lost. Turn on the quad. Telemetry recovered. Okay, so when I arm the quad, okay. If I go GPS rescue, I will switch this one to GPS rescue. And what happens when I go GPS rescue? It goes off. The props go off. Okay. Upon GPS rescue. So that's why. We have to do something about this fail safe. GPS rescue. Okay, throttle. Minimum, maximum. Okay. Hover. 1280. Okay. Okay, I have to find out more about this because you could accidentally hit this switch and then your quad will just fall from the sky. Okay, for the battery calibration, what I do is I will connect my quad, power it on with the battery checker here and you can see that the battery that is transmitted to my Craterinus is 3.87. Whereas the actual power is 3.94. So basically the scaling, you can actually adjust it. Okay, increase the scaling. Okay, so you can see now it's 3.94, 3.94. Right? So by increasing the scaling, you are multiplying by that amount so that uh, you can match the correct one. So if this one is too high, then you gotta decrease the scaling. So now you can be sure that whatever you the voltage is here is transmitted to your Tyrannis and also to your goggles accurately okay what you will see on your goggles would be the voltage here okay let's save this one first okay what is transmitted to your goggles okay is uh 15.76 that is for 4 cell and if you select um, average cell number in your goggles you should be able to see uh, the single cell that means in your OSD in the OSD if you set to battery average cell this one Okay, and then you should be able to see the single voltage here, single cell voltage. But I'm not sure if this one will be at, transmitted to your DJI goggles. That is left for another topic. Okay, now the setup is ready for outdoor testing. So I hope that you enjoy this video and you learn something from it. Um, and I hope that you can also subscribe to my channel uh, and as soon as I post a video if you click on the notification bell and uh, enable it to all anytime I post a new video you, video you will be able to receive a notification okay thanks very much again and keep safe during this pandemic bye bye